Hey guys and welcome to another vlog. Today I am starting in my car before work. I'm gonna go and walk around this water because um, I still have about 20 minutes, tw yeah a little more than 20 minutes actually before going into work so I decided to just go around this little pond. Welcome to the vlog. Today is gonna be a working day and also cleaning day and more house related stuff. I'm gonna update you on um, where our house is currently at. It's still a lot but we have gotten some furniture in. Our bed is in. It's just not assembled. But we have it. So yeah, the office is almost done. The, the floor in the office is almost done which is exciting so I have to in this vlog I will do the um, the bookshelf and I'm very excited because I get to reorganize the entire bookshelf and everything my desk and Adam's desk my husband's desk we're gonna put both of them in one place so there's a lot of decoration I'm gonna have to and stores that I have to figure out. Yeah, we will take you, well, I will take you along with us. And uh, yeah, I guess I just wanted to start the vlog here. I'm gonna go walk around and I'll probably see you after work. And in case you guys were wondering, this is the little pond. For Prime Day from Amazon, I got this pot. It was like $27. It's a cast iron. Iron. Cast iron. It looks like it's done by Amazon. It says Amazon Basics. It's so heavy. But it looks, looks good quality. I don't know why I thought it would be a little bigger. But actually, I think it would be perfect for for baking bread I'm actually kind of excited which is another reason why I got we also don't have any cast iron that we can um, you know cook and put it in the oven so this is perfect and it was only $27 which uh, for this heavy stuff I think it's a good deal time to do beef bulgogi so as you've seen I'm watching I like making it with the recipe so I rewind 6,000 times because it feels like I'm cooking with somebody I don't know if I'm the only one doing that but <laughs> that's what I like doing um, so yeah this is how it looks right now Without you, I never 
It's the next day and it's actually already one o'clock and I just realized I didn't even turn my watch on. But it is one o'clock and you know, I decided I want to put a little bit of makeup on. I don't know if we're gonna leave the house. Honestly, probably not. But since I'm on camera, you know, let's just put a little bit. I actually do not like this SPF by Obagi. And it's sad because I do love Obagi as um, a brand. But this is just not it. The tint never blends. It's always patchy regardless what I have underneath. And it's like you can see, it's it's just not a good situation. But since we're gonna be home and I am planning to put some sort of BB cream on, it's fine. It doesn't really matter that much. And also I paid money on it for it, so I wanna use it because I hate wasting money and I can return it. So today is Saturday, so plenty to do. Saturday and Sunday usually are the days that we get most done in the house because we are not working so i get to do more things on saturdays and sundays so that's awesome because there are a lot of things that need to be done and i feel like i have been just pushing it and pushing it and pushing it because when you know when you have a lot to do you just feel like you do not want to do anything and that is my issue also with this sunscreen, it peels and it's annoying. But I'm gonna leave it a little bit. I'm going to do something that nobody does, apparently. I'm gonna use the NARS underneath my eyes. And this is the Creme Brulee Soft Matte. I actually don't mind it, you know? I do like it, how easy it is and how fast it blends. So we're just gonna, you know, put a little bit here. Um, and again, I'm not going anywhere, so I don't really care that much, you know. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and put some baby cream on. I, I feel like it's been a while since I used this, and it's almost out, so I need to go ahead and use it up. And I'm gonna do something that I usually don't do and put it with a brush. We cutting corners today. And I just realized I used the wrong brush for it because this is the brush that I use for my cream bronzer. So I might, might be a little bronzy today. So I guess it's a good thing that we're not leaving the house, right? It just reminds me how much I love, love this BB cream. It's so awesome. It looks natural. It doesn't look weird at all. I just love it. That's it. No need to say anything. Guess I'm just gonna use a regular bronzer today. No, I'm definitely bronzy today, but you now I realized I didn't even set my under eye and it looks good. And that's basically it. A little bit of aquaphor. And we are nice and bronzy. So now I'm gonna put everything back and I'm gonna show you what we are tackling today. Okay, so we've officially have lived in this house for more than three weeks and there's still a lot a lot to unpack there's still a lot of work to do so let me just show you where we kind of are right now so i got these little nightstands because i thought they looked cute in the pictures i'm still not 100 percent sold on them right now but i have to see how it's how it stays with the bed Frame. The bed is still not here. We're still sleeping on, you know, on, on the floor. But here is the bed. It arrived on Friday or Thursday, so a day, two days ago. Yeah, so it arrived two days ago and here it is and it's glory. Apparently it's easy to put together, so I might, I don't know, I don't think I'm gonna put it together to be honest. So here's the, the other nightstand. We still have nothing to put on the nightstand itself. If you have any ideas, please let me know because 
I don't know. I'm thinking some lights, obviously, like maybe some lamps for both sides and like a, cl a digital clock. I don't entirely know what I want to do yet. So this is corner is is what's going to go actually in the office. So I have no idea what I'm going to do with this space. I'm thinking to get a big mirror, maybe down the line of vanity. I don't know because right now I have no idea where I'm going to put actual, the actual makeup because I'm not going to get ready inside the office. I usually get ready in the room so I have no idea what I'm going to do to be honest. Yeah, it is a mess guys. So the TV is here. Here it is. It's going to go on the wall. This is our dresser for now. It's going to stay. I have lots of stuff that I got for organization as you can see from Amazon this thing is heavy but I haven't organized anything so yeah and then I have these little thingies so nothing is organized yet as you go Christian's room is still absolutely <laughs> the same nothing is is done nothing is made I'm gonna have to paint his room uh, this baby blue we already got well that baby blue just a little blue color because that's what he chose so i guess that's why we haven't put anything we haven't gotten the bed and honestly adam didn't really have much time either so yeah but i have to paint this room this is currently an office we finally got the floor in which is exciting we were thinking i have no idea what to do with the office i will be entirely off honest because we have to put two desks because it's going to be adam's desk and my desk as well and i'm like and the books will go in the office and i, I was thinking we just put it there just to be you know kind of out of the way um yeah i'm thinking maybe to, to do like a desk here and the desk like facing each other or I don't know. I am not entirely sure, I'll be honest. Well, what I'm gonna do right now though, I'm pretty sure we're gonna keep the bookshelf there. So I probably wanna go ahead and put this books up in a way. And this is kind of where we at right now. <laughs> There's still a lot. And honestly, I think I get overwhelmed very easily and I just don't do anything. Like I'm putting my show and I just watch a show and do absolutely nothing. Just because it's it's easy to get overwhelmed and, and that's just not a good habit of mine. It keeps wanting to focus on the door for some reason. Honestly, I'm getting a little hungry right now. It is two o'clock. I think I'm gonna have a snack. I'm gonna have some avocado some guacamole with chips. And then we're gonna tackle this office. classic books, classical books here, and then here would be more motivational and learning stuff, and then down here would be like novels and fantasy series and all of that. And then down here I will have most of Adam's books, 
that are not motivational books. He reads, I mean, it's been a while since he read any of these books and I'm not very interested in them. So, and honestly, I don't even know. Maybe from the library sale. But yeah, I'm gonna try to organize it now. Hopefully it's a little easier. And I definitely meant classics. Okay, so it's um, kind of done. I do have a little things to put here, but book-wise, it's book-wise is for the most part is done. Um, I'll do, I guess, a little tour for you guys. Um, so here I have the complete Sherlock Holmes, Jane Austen, La Miserable. Da Vinci Code, uh, Dorian Gray, The Book Thief, um, all the Harry Potter books. This is a, a book in uh, Romanian. Another Da Vinci Code, I guess. I got too excited on that. Um, Little Woman, I want to read it. A Tale of Two Cities. Um, all Quiet on the Western Front. Front. And Frank, oh my god. George R. R. Martin here, Steve, Dr. Sleep, Name of the Wind. I heard very good things about this book. Down here we have biology, because why not? Okay, so my camera died, so here I am back on my phone. So, biology book, organized crime, or history of organized crime. We've had this book for a while, and Adam, I guess, was interested in reading it. Science of Everything, Classical Music Encyclopedia, Power, Psychology, Japanese, 12 Rules of Life by Jordan Peterson, and Beyond Order by Jordan Peterson. Adam loved loves him, and he read both books. I guess I'm next. Atomic Habits. I read it. I'm trying to make Adam read it. I love Atomic Habits. Permanent Record. Edward Snowden. Adam read it. Living Courageously. That's something I want to read. This is like 309 Games, Puzzles, and Trivial Challenges uh, for Your Brain. The Irishman. What is Economics? Grit. I've spoken about this book quite a while lot not my favorite outliers by malcolm gladwell i love this out author long walk to freedom i haven't read it but i do want to read it running with scissors i don't even know what it is i'm sure i'll get to it cosmos this i believe michael jordan and capitalism this is like very old books that that adam had this is i believe like the bible for every day the martian one nation by ben carson money rules and down here oh one of my favorite my fantasies I love Cassandra Clare. This is the last book in, I don't even remember the name of the series, but I read all of it and I love it. This is a spin-off series, Lady Midnight. I only read the first book and honestly, I don't remember. <laughs> 
I might get back into this world down the line. We'll see. The Fro Throne of Glass series. Honestly, I wasn't very impressed in the first two books. I think it picked up for me and I just, I was that deep that I wanted to just finish it. Um, I remember liking it. I remember liking it more as the series progressed, but I, this is not my favorite series ever, for sure. In Amber in the Ashes, I've read, I've heard about it a lot on Book Talk and on um, on YouTube, so I got it a while ago. Never, never read it. V. Schwab. This is, I think, the second book, A Gathering of Shadows. I just heard a lot about her. A lot of people love her books. So this was on sale, I believe that's why I picked it up. A lot of these books are I have because they were on sale. <laughs> that's just something I do, I guess. The Winner's Curse, I heard good things. This is, I think, the first book. Never read it on my list. The Coldest Girl in the Cold Town, Holly Black. I think it's a, a standalone book, so on my list. Divergent. I read many years ago and I just absolutely devoured it and loved it so much. I remember I read Insurgent. I, honestly, I don't think I finished Insurgent. I don't know what happened, but I like... I was in school like 12th grade. I think it was a lot going on, so I didn't finish it. I do want to pick it back up, so I want to reread Divergent and then go on to Insurgent Allegiant. I do know that it's a sad ending, but I'm gonna read it anyways. Death Note is a manga. I got it because it's on sale again. It was on sale again and uh, you already saw this series on the TV, but um, I still want to read it. Brendan Sanderson, Steelheart. Um, it was on sale. I got it. I do plan on reading some more of Brandon Sanderson's book. I did read the Mistborn series and I did finish it and I liked it. It was good. I don't think it was... It was... it was good. That's all I'm gonna say. It was very good. That's it. Here are the books that one I did read and two I don't plan on reading anytime soon. So The Alchemist, I did read all of them. I only have this book but I did listen to the audiobooks so I, did, I am done with this series. The Last Song by Nicholas Sparks, I am planning to read sometime. I It's not anytime soon. Uglies, I've heard about it. I have the first book obviously. I know there is a TV show coming out soon but I don't I don't know when and I'm I don't know I'm gonna read it sometime I will but for now it's here Hollow City um, no, Miss Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children there I believe there's three books or four um, I only have the first two and uh, or I don't even know if this one's the second one but I've already read the series and I, you know I don't think I'm planning to buy the the third book or the second book I don't even know what this which one this is if I stay I swear I had the second book and I have no idea where it is it's weird I could have sworn that I do have the second book but I already read this and wind I started I really liked it and then I think I was reading it at the same time I was reading the throne of glass and then the throne throne of glass kind of took over so I am planning to reread this. To all the boys I've loved before, there's three books and I read all three of them. So I only have the first one though. And I could have sworn that I did have the second one too, but maybe not. I don't know. The Raven Boys, here they are, all four books. I read it, I liked it, not my favorite. That's all. It's a little weird. These are just like random books. This is my my agendas, calendars throughout the year, so I do keep them. Um, nutrition there, my photo book. And down here we have a random uh, books. <laughs> um, we have a lot of childcare and what to expect books. Uh, first year and second year. These are all gifts. So I am planning on holding on to them because I, I didn't read any of them and it's actually interesting. Um, I believe I got this. I don't know when I got this. I guess at a library sale or something because I don't remember having something like this. This is just like a mesh stuff of 
of books, like different kind of books. Um, the Stone Cold Truth, uh, What Color Is Your Parachute, Illusion, The Savvy Studio Owner, like all kinds of stuff. Jay-Z Decoded, that's Adam's stuff, obviously. Um, the second copy of The Power, I don't know what I'm going to do with it right now. Maybe I'll, I'll, I'll probably just donate it. But for now, it stays here. 50 Cent Book. I guess. Tom Clancy, The Bear and the Dragon, that's something Adam picked up and I guess he'll read it sometime. The last year, John Grisham used to be Adam's like favorite writer, so he has quite a few there, if you can see. Well, actually, those are all, all other books, but I guess that that's John Grisham. Got some beggars, cheats, and forgers. I don't even know what this book is about, but we have it. This is random books that Adam has and had for a while, and his even his childhood books. So they will stay here for a little bit. It's not very pleasant to look at, I know, but you know, it works. Plus, you get to close this so you can see the mess and that's it do have a little things that i have to put here and there but here's our box i do have like little trinkets that i have to put here which i'm gonna do in a second first project of the day is done second project i don't know what it is yet so but there's plenty there's plenty to do here's the box called trinkets of the bookshelf and it looks like just a lot of random stuff and I don't know why this is still here because it's not working. That's not all of it though. I don't know where the other stuff is. I changed my mind. I'm not putting all the trinkets. It's just going to be a little bit. I've had this for so long. And then I do have something else to put here that I need to find. But it's going to be just very minimal. Okay, so I came downstairs because... I got a little hungry and it's time to eat, but I did get a few packages in the mail from Amazon, so I'm gonna go ahead and open up, open them up on here. So I got two. I'm not putting them here. So Prime Day was this past week, so I got a few things. I did get the Cleaning Zero Three in One Cleansing Balm by Vanilla Co. If you guys have seen this before, if we have heard about it, it's just basically a cleanser balm. And let me open it. It was on sale and actually, and I'm actually been meaning, meaning to get some. So it was perfect. A spoolie and here it is. It's very cute. That and exciting project. Magnetic measuring cups because of course they might not be the most exciting purchase but i am excited and it has a leveler the reason i went with these particular ones is because it has measuring cups on both sides and sometimes you, you need you know one tablespoon of flour and one tablespoon of oil so it's like I have to wash the oil off or whatever, and I like just having two. So that's the reason I got specifically these ones. And the last thing in here, I've been looking at it for a while. I've been needing something like it, so hopefully, hopefully works well. It's this tripod, but it's for both the phone and the camera supposed to work with both. This is the, the one for the camera. It's raining so that's why it's so dark. Let me. Didn't really help. We do need a new light in this kitchen but and we need like light under the cabinets but this is what we're dealing with right now. Let's see. Do I know how it works? No. But here it is. It's tiny. Let's see. Okay, so I guess I figured it out. Your own little tripod right now, and it's actually pretty cool. I don't know if it's gonna hold my camera though, because my camera is a little heavier side. It's thundering outside, and it's. And I'm actually liking when the weather is like this. I don't know why. It's just so peaceful when I don't have any anywhere to go. If I do have 
places to go, then I don't like it. But if I'm home, I, I love it. I'm gonna go ahead and warm up my bulgogi. I did make a little bit of rice. We don't really have a lot of rice, so I, I do have to make a list of grocery store grocery items that we have to take have to get from Costco so that's on the list of the day and yeah I'm hungry so I'm gonna go ahead and get my beef bulgogi started so I'm gonna um, I guess watch King of the Land okay so I got something from Amazon some hangers and I didn't realize that you need to assemble it. So I guess uh, I'm doing it right now. Okay, here it is. Kind of. We still have... We have way too many robes. But this will work. Okay, now I am thinking do the bed. I don't know if it's gonna work, but I can try. Mm, not doing it. No way. Okay, so I figured I'm gonna try to edit a few things right now. I do have a vlog that I have filmed. A few weeks ago like a week a, a week ago or two weeks ago and I still need to edit it and so I'll go ahead and do this now just edit a little bit and get back to cleaning and organizing speaking of let me try to put you on the tripod that I just got and see if it's gonna hold this camera it's kind of exciting it's holding on it's it's doing its thing here Put you right there. Head and start editing. And I do use this baby here 